This tutorial covers how to complete the Effective Leadership Certificate for student organizations. To get started, you're going to go to your single sign-on, you're going to go to Blackboard, and you're going to navigate to the Interclub Council, the NU Interclub Council Blackboard organization. It's not a class, you'll see it in your list of organizations. There you're going to navigate to Leadership Certificate Forms, and this content area contains the checklist and links to all the forms you'll need to fill out. I'm going to take you through what I think is the simplest and uh, most effective way to complete these requirements, but you may decide to do them in a slightly different order. If you haven't already, create a profile in LinkedIn. If you want some tips, lynda.com, now known as LinkedIn Learning, all students have free access to, access to that through single sign-on, and there are some great tutorials there. Um, but do create a profile if you have not already. You are next going to log into Portfolium. You're going to have a link to that through your single sign-on. And you're going to create a profile there. Uh, an example of a really good Portfolium account here is for Cassie Chavez. So uh, I believe that this is set up to share. Um, you can change your privacy settings in Portfolium, but I believe you should be able to access this one. She's got a really nice Portfolium if you want to see kind of what a full and complete Portfolium account looks like. So you're going to uh, create your profile in Portfolium, and then you're going to create and upload the following documents. And this is all on your checklist document in Blackboard. Um, a resume, a mission statement, a sample cover letter, some photos of events or other multimedia products like uh, posters or flyers or videos demonstrating leadership and a link to your LinkedIn profile. So you're going to go to portfolio, you're going to add new projects, you're going to upload whatever files or links you want to use, and then be sure when you have come to the skills section, enter in effective leadership. and then publish. So that will ensure that when you um, when you have these projects that you've shared, that they're tagged with the skill of effective leadership. Um, Cassie has a bunch of skills, so I don't know if I see effective leadership here. But let's just say, for example, for her, um, we'll just use leadership skills. Then we can immediately see everything she uploaded that was tagged with this skill. So you will tag all of those things, the resume, the mission statement, the sample cover letter, uh, evidence from events demonstrating leadership, and a link to your LinkedIn profile, and you will tag those with the skill effective leadership. You are then going to complete what sort of leader are you quiz. The link to that is in Blackboard. Please be sure to save your responses, whether you want to print those out on paper, uh, save them as a PDF, take a screenshot. Um, this is a third-party web-based quiz, so uh, NU doesn't have copies of your responses. Then using these responses, as well as some other info, you are going to complete the effective leadership reflection form. The link to this is provided, again, in, um, in Blackboard here. So you're going to complete this entire form. And you're going to get a copy of your, after you click, um, click submit, you're going to get a copy of your email response, of your responses via email. Uh, you'll notice that this form is divided into two sections. So there's a survey questions and some kind of personal identifying information. And then there's a section explicitly marked reflection section for portfolio. So we only want you to share these reflection uh, bits on portfolio. So just Bring together the reflection that you did, um, make it a single document, you can tweak it to kind of give it some nice flow, and upload that to Portfolio along with the other items that you previously uploaded. And then you're going to tag this as well with the skill of effective leadership. Again, don't upload uh, your student ID, identifying information, just the reflection stuff. You're then going to find a peer. Hopefully you can return the favor for them and ask them to fill out this form on your behalf. So this is them reviewing the answers that you provided on the effective leadership reflection and um, just seeing how well they thought you did. Um, 
and we encourage you to go back and forth with each other. The, the goal here is to have a strong reflection, not to give someone a bad grade. So if you're working with your peer reviewer and they ask you to change some things, they can absolutely, you can revise things and they can resubmit this. So if you do revise it, just make sure you upload the final um, highest quality version to your portfolio. So, okay, so you have you completed the effective leadership reflection form and your peer reviewer has confirmed that you met those criteria. The next thing you're going to do is register for Mentor Me, which is National University's internal mentoring platform. You're going to click to sign up. And once you've completed the sign up process, your main dashboard is going to look something like this. And then you can use this platform to find mentors and meet with them. You can filter by keyword, by uh, maybe location. So there's a lot that this platform can do, but the idea is that this is going to connect you with people who can be mentors for you and also allow you to be a mentor for other people. Uh, MentorMe does connect with your LinkedIn profile to populate a lot of your information. So your life is going to be much easier if you complete your LinkedIn profile before doing this step. So you've registered for Mentor Me. Before you meet with your mentor for the first time, you're gonna fill out the first part of this SMART Goals and Mentorship form. You're gonna fill out the identifying information and you're gonna complete parts one through four. And these parts of the form are gonna prepare you for your meeting with your mentor. It's gonna make sure you have clear goals in mind. It's gonna make sure you're prepared to get the most out of your session. So you're gonna complete parts one through four and then you're gonna click save and continue later. Uh, you're going to click here after completing parts one through four. You will get an email with a copy of your responses so that you have them to hand for the meeting with your mentor. So bring a copy of that information to your meeting with your mentor because again this this will help you get the most out of that mentorship meeting. And then after you have completed your meeting with your mentor, uh, you will receive a link when you get that email that will take you back to your partially completed form and let you fill out the remaining parts. So you're going to complete parts five and six after your mentor mentoring session and reflection section for portfolio. And after you do that, you're going to click on complete and submit. So you're going to click on that only after you've completed the entire form. As with the effective leadership reflection, we don't want you to share this whole form because a lot of it is private for you. It's helping you prepare for a successful mentoring session. So all that we want you to share via portfolio is the reflection. So really what it was like to create these SMART goals, how you're going to achieve these SMART goals, how this meeting was helpful for you, what you got out of mentorship. So again, you're going to put that together as a single reflection. You're going to upload that to portfolio, and then you are going to tag this reflection with the skill effective leadership. So you're probably noticing that um, we're using portfolio as where all of this is housed. So just remember all of these items. The idea is that once you've got an item complete, it's being uploaded to portfolio. It's being tagged with effective leadership. And that way we can go in, we can select whatever skill we're, we're searching for, and we can quickly and easily look at all the items to make sure that they're complete. So portfolio is really the hub where this is all completed. And then once you have completed all of those items, you're going to email us at clubs at nu.edu. Let us know you've completed all the components of the effective leadership certificate. And then please give us two complete business days, so 48 hours, to assess and issue your certificate. And once you have your certificate, we encourage you to share it on social media, use it on your resume, whatever would be of the most value for you. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial, and I hope it was helpful.